Hi, my name is Cam Smith with Youth Sports Production, reporting from Gowdy Field in Langford, B.C. Thank you for tuning in. It's the Belmont Bulldogs regular season home opener against the Centennial Centaurs today. And before the game started, the Belmont Bulldogs program recognized the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation by holding a ceremony at midfield. The Bulldogs program had high expectations for the beginning of the 2023 season, but got off to a slow start with three consecutive losses in exhibition play. There's no question this year's varsity team is loaded with talent and capable of a successful campaign going forward, but the time is now. Senior Dylan Gilbert once again looks to turn things around offensively for the Dogs, who are more than capable of putting points on the board and coming away with a victory. It's the Centaurs and Bulldogs from Gowdy Field. And Centennial Centaurs, we get the ball first, and that is Lil Bay, and he's going to take it off tackle, and he is going to be met by Rokeen Adewo, but not before the Centaurs get a first down on a play. And out of the shotgun is Ulak, and he is going to hit Ina Laqui, but there is Roberts to pick him up, but that's for a first down as the Centaurs continue to move the ball on their first drive of the day. First and 10 from the 40 yard line and then Olak is gonna put this one up and that is Livingston going to the end zone. Oh, but there is Dante after with a fantastic play. He played this ball so well. Undercut it and that is for the interception for these Belmont Bulldogs. And they're loving this. That stops the drive in its tracks. And great play by Dante Acton. But the Bulldogs were forced to punt. And that's 40 yard line for the Centaurs again. And that's Ulak, and he's going to throw a dart right to Barron. And Barron, but Dante Acton stops with his track, but not before a first down for these Centaurs. And then Ulak, he would hand the ball off to LeBay. And he would go off tackle again. And he's coming inside, but there is Roberts. And Bednar's doing a great job. That could have been for six. And then on fourth down, that is Ulak. He's going to keep himself trying to pick up a first down. And that is Dante Acton. He's got a piece of him finishing him off. Is Gavin Christensen. That is a fantastic. That's a turnover on downs for these Belmont Bulldogs. Centers were driving. That was looking promising, but these Bulldogs defense came to play today. And then Belmont with the ball. That's Dylan Gilbert. Low snap, but he's going to take this one up on the right side. He's going to fight through three tacklers. He's going to about six yards on the play. And then the Bulldogs, it's fourth and a yard and a half, and they are going to take a gamble on this play, but no, they're not there. Just could call a timeout. They're not going to push it too early in this game, so they're going to have to punt. And then the centers from their own 40-yard line under center is a lock, and he's going to give it to Barron. Barron's going to go right up the middle, but look at there. Coming in hard is Krantz. And Ulak with Barron in the backfield. Ulak's going to take this ball himself, try and follow his blockers, but he's going to have to reverse field. It's that Belmont Bulldogs, that containment was fantastic. But look at there's Angelo Avila. He'll take care of him. Ah, but he gets called on a little bit of a horse collar there. And Ulak, he's going to try and hit Barron on the outside in the flat. But look out here comes Johnson with a nice swim move and puts pressure on him. He's going to have to go to the left. And there is Bednarz with a great tackle, but not before they get a first down. First and 10 for the Centaurs from the 11-yard line. And under center, that is Ulak. And he's got Barron in the backfield. And look out, here comes the pulling guard. They have so many blockers up front. This is tough, especially with Barron. This kid has an eye for the end zone. And he puts it in there for the centers, putting them up. Six to nothing. Extra point is good. And that puts the centers up seven to nothing early on in the second quarter. And on the ensuing drive, that is Dylan Gilbert out of the shotgun. And he is going to look for Angelo Avila. And he is going to find him wide open for a 69-yard strike, and that puts Belmont on the board. That is a great play by Dylan Gilbert putting out to Angelo Avila. That was a great route by Avila. Extra point is good, and that is gonna tie this game up at seven to seven, midway through the second. And the Centaur is just about at midfield, and now Luke, he's gonna give it right over to Barron, and Barron is trying to hit the edge, but no, out of nowhere, that's Gavin Christensen. Look out, don't get this young man heated up. And then Ulak, he is gonna put one right over the top to Livingston, and he looks like he's gonna put no full Bednarz out of nowhere. Fantastic play. That is great coverage right by this young man. And then Ulak, he is going to show off his arm as well. And he is going to hit Jasper Barron. What a catch, folks. Oh, my God. For it into the end zone. That's an unbelievable catch by Barron. 
And the extra point is good, but let's take a look at that 60 yard strike from Ulak to, to Barron. That was a beauty. And Ulak with a great arm to make this happen. But look at this over the shoulder catch by Barron. Great effort by Roberts. But the level of difficulty on this catch, that is unbelievable. And that is a fantastic catch by this young man. You just got to appreciate that. And late in the fourth and Belmont is forced to punt. And that is Darius Gray with a nice punt. But back there is Barron and you just see him with a nice catch. You see him running a touchdown and now you're going to see him on special teams. And he just takes it to the outside and brings it all the way down to the 18 yard line. This kid is on fire. And then Ulak looking downfield on this play. And he's going to be, there's some nice containment right there from Roberts and Kranz. Uh, who stopped him in his tracks. That's about a one yard gain on the play. And then fourth down, Centaur is looking to capitalize on this drive. And the Bulldogs trying to keep him out. Their defense is playing well. There's pressure on the quarterback. That's a look. He puts it up into the corner. And look out, there's Dante Acton. That was intended for Barron, but a great coverage on the play by Dante Acton to stop the drive. And the Bulldogs would take over. And Dylan Gilbert, there's motion. And Dylan Gilbert is looking downfield. No, he's going to take it with the pressure. And he's going to go outside. And Dylan Gilbert is going to run for a first down. That's a heads up play. And it is second and two, and that's Gilbert, single set back. He's looking to go downfield, and he is, oh, there's so much pressure coming on the right side and up the middle, but Gilbert somehow squeaks out, and he moves it forward a bit. He's got about four centaurs all over him. Big pressure on that play from this Centennial squad this late in the second quarter. Belmont's drive would fizzle out, and they would have to punt the ball. Now Ulak with the ball, and he's coming out to the right, and he shovels it right up to, guess who? That is Barron once again. And this young man is gone into the end zone for his third touchdown of the game. And the extra point would be good. And then last play of the half, Belmont Bulldogs with the ball at midfield. Gilbert's going to put this one out, and he throws it in the flat right over to Gavin Christensen. He's looking to put it in the end zone in the last play, but no, he is stopped. And that's the way we're going to end this half. 21-7, Centaur. A great first half of football. Second half, Centaurs with the ball under center. That's Ulak, and he's going to put it up for DeGlasse. And look out, there's Roberts again, stopping him from the first down. Centaurs third and 10 inside Bulldogs territory. That's Ulak, and he's going to find Livingstone. But there is Cole Bednars, and a host of Bulldogs bringing him down for a tackle for loss. It's a great play by Bednars, reading that all the way. And Centaurs with the ball fourth down. They would go for it again. That's Ulak, he's going to the right, and there is Roberts and Roberts could have put his hand up, but that is a great throw by Ulak, and he could have hit Livingstone, but Bednars with tight coverage, and they're scrapping for that ball underneath. Who's coming up with it? Bednars does, but the ref says, oh, he says it's a touchdown. First set, the Centaurs, tough call, but uh, the Centaurs would get the touchdown, and the extra point is good, 28 to seven, Centaurs. And the Bulldogs looking to respond. That is Dylan Gilbert, first and 15. He's going to give that to Cash Amos, and he's going to get about eight yards on the play. And then with a draw right up the middle, that is Dylan Gilbert. He will take off. There is space, and he is going to get a first down and more. Great run by Gilbert. And the Bulldogs are driving, and that is Dylan Gilbert. He's going to put this one to Avila, who's having a great day, and he's going to bring this all, all the way up about the 35-yard line before he's met by Medina Sanchez. And then Belmont keep looking to keep this drive alive. And on the next play, first and 10, Gilbert is going to find Avila again for another first down, down to about the 15-yard line. Belmont on the move late in the third quarter. And into the fourth quarter we go, and that is Dylan Gilbert. And he is going to find Gavin Christensen. He's going to the outside. There's a nice stiff arm right there. And he slips the tackle and into the end zone. He goes Christensen, bringing his Bulldogs team back. It is 28. The extra point is good, 14, and this is a ball game. And the Bulldogs would kick the ball off, and there is a dangerous Baron, and he is going to bring the ball up, and he's looking for something. He finds something up the inside, but there is Gramolich with a great tackle. That could have saved the touchdown right there. And on the very next play, the Centaurs would turn the ball over. Krantz getting the fumble recovery, and that puts the Bulldog in great position. And the Bulldogs looking to capitalize on the turnover. That's Dylan Gilbert. He's looking downfield. There's good coverage. But there is Suarez looking for a free ride. Uh, he tackles him back for a, t a loss. But unfortunately, the Bulldogs would be forced to punt. 
And with the snap would go right over the head of Darius Gray. And he is going to be brought down around the 20 yard line. Late in the fourth quarter, Centaur's ball. That is a tough one. And then the Centaurs with the ball. That is a single set back. And that is Ulak. He'll look at it, capitalize. He goes right to the outside. Everybody is going left. And he is going to hit the edge. And down to about the one yard line he gets. And that's just setting the centers up really good late in the fourth. And under center is Ulak. And Ulak is going to give the ball to Lil Bay. And Lil Bay is just going to sneak inside. That's for the touchdown for the Centennial Centaurs. And the extra point is blocked by Cole Bednars, 34 to 14 for the Centaurs late in the fourth. And the chemistry between Gilbert and Avila has been strong all game and it would not disappoint. Here's going for another first down is Avila and that's a beauty right there. And the dogs are continuing to move the ball through the air. And that is Dylan Gilbert. He is going to slip a tackle there and puts it right up for Gavin Christensen. That's for another first down right at midfield for these Bulldogs. And then Gilbert at midfield. And Gilbert out of the shotgun. Single set back. And he is going to go to the outside. And he is met in the backfield. But he gives a shovel pass right to Angelo Avila for about 10 yards on the play. And the Bulldogs move back by penalties. And then look out, here comes Dylan Gilbert. He's going to put this one up intended for Avila again. But undercutting it is Barron. And what a game for Barron. Three touchdowns and an interception. That's a great game by this young man. And that is going to end this ball game. 34 to 14 for the Centennial Centaurs over the Belmont Bulldogs. What a game. Uh, they all came to play today. Centennial obviously on top, but Belmont had a lot of fight in them. Defense played great. Offense moved the ball very, very well this game. Like, this was a lot closer than the score would dictate. I know it's tough to take a loss in your first regular season game, but there's a lot of positives to take away from this game on both sides of the ball. A lot of people contributing, and good on you, Belmont. The Belmont Bulldogs will travel across town next Friday, October the 6th to face arch rival Mount Doug Rams at Mount Douglas Secondary School. This spirited varsity matchup is the highlight of the season for both programs and is a must-see event for fans who want to see what Greater Victoria football at the varsity level has to offer. Let's get out in the community and support events like this. My name is Cam Smith with U Sports Production. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the field.